Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk to you about how to take a viral throat swab. We're going to tell you how to do your personal protective equipment for that swab. We're going to show you how to put that on and how to take that off. So the first step is to wash your hands or to use hand sanitizer. This will mean taking the gel or washing your hands for at least 20 seconds. So now you're going to put on or don your protective equipment. The first stage is to put on your apron. So with the apron, you want to ensure at all times you're not touching the front of the apron, so try handling it only at those extreme areas or from the inside. So you're going to put the apron over your head and then tie the straps behind your back, again coming from the inside and tying that round. Your next step is to put on your face mask. This is an ordinary surgical mask. With the mask, try not to touch the front of the mask, handling the sides and the straps. Take the mask and put the straps behind each of your ears, ensuring it covers your nose, your mouth and your chin. And finally, you are going to put on your gloves. Again, with your gloves, trying to not handle the outside of the glove, work in your thumb and your fingers on each hand. extending up your wrist for full protection. As with all situations, you have to do a risk assessment. If you deem there is a high risk because you have a patient who is coughing a lot and may cough up sputum, you may need to add in a face visor or protective goggles. Alongside this, you may also add in a long-sleeved apron. You are now ready to take your swab. So at this point, you will need a clean nurse. Your clean nurse only needs to wear an apron and gloves. Your clean nurse will have the swab vial and the actual swab. You need to ensure that your patient is comfortable and understands what is going to happen. So you're now going to prepare your patient. So you introduce yourself and you're going to tell the patient exactly what you're going to do. So firstly, you're going to ask them to open their mouth wide, tip their head back slightly, and you're then going to get the swab and rub it at the back of their throat and then up either nostril. They may experience a gagging sensation and they may retch. Assure your patient that that is normal, that you'll work through it and work at their pace. So, prepare to do your swab. So you ask the patient to open their mouth wide and tip their head back slightly. Look in and see if you can actually visualise the back of the throat. If not, use the tongue depressor to gently depress the tongue. You're aiming for the back of the throat into the lumpy bits at the back, the pillars of the tonsils, and just swabbing on either side. Then with that same swab, you're going up either nostril, start with one and give it a little twizzle round, and then up the other side again, give it a twizzle round. So having now taken your swab, you need to return the swab to the clean nurse who will be holding the vial ready. They will have removed the lid of the vial. You place the swab into the vial, snap it at the marker on the swab, and the lid is then closed. The vial is then placed into a plastic bag as provided by the laboratories. Having taken your swab and put it into the sealed bag, this needs to then be double bagged. So place it into the second microbiology bag and attach the appropriate documentation. Now you're going to take off your personal protective equipment or doffing. The first items to be removed are the gloves. Take the outside of the glove with your opposite glove hand and peel it off. Hold the removed glove in the remaining gloved hand. Slide the fingers of the ungloved hand under the remaining glove at the wrist. Peel off the remaining glove over the first glove and discard into your orange bag. 
Now clean your hands again with the hand sanitizer. Next, remove your apron. Unfasten or break the apron ties at the neck and let the apron fold down on itself. Break the ties at the waist and fold the apron in on itself. Do not touch the outside and then discard into your orange bag. Again, use the hand sanitizer. If you have been wearing eye protection, this is the time to remove that. Use your hands to handle the straps, pulling it away from the face and discard it. Again, use the hand sanitizer. Now finally remove your face mask once your clinical work is completed. Untie or break the ties, looping the elastic away from your ears, handling only the ties. Lean forward slightly and discard into your orange bag. And finally again, clean your hands with either soap and water or the hand sanitizer.